Okay, now what you're going to do for your next task is you need to get the doorway and the landscape. And what you need to do is you need to put a mask over the doorway opening so that the landscape is visible. Um, now I've looked up several ways to do this and to be quite honest they're all awkward. Um, so I'm just going to show you the way that I would do it. Um, now I'm going to pick up the images so I'm going to obviously they're going to appear on different layers so let's go to import from file. Um, the doorway's here and then we're going to go to import from file and the landscapes here. So what we aim to do is we, we want to see the landscape through the window of this doorway. Okay now you're going to see that um, the landscape appears obviously on top of the doorway but that's fine. So we do, we don't need this layer so I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to move this layer up here. Okay now make sure the doorway is selected. So there we go and I want to stretch my doorway so it's across the landscape. So just move this out here. I know the um, selection bits are all off, but what the hell, it doesn't matter. There we go, so it's just in line with the landscape there. And then I'm going to move this down here. And there we go. So what we want to see is we want to see the landscape through this white bit here. Um, now with masking, what you generally would do, because there isn't a specific masking tool here on paint.net, um, so you would generally get the paintbrush tool, where you'd add another layer, get the paintbrush tool and colour all around here, and then you would go to uh, invert selection, which is control I, um, it's along here somewhere, and then you'll simply press delete. But um, that's going to take an awful lot of work. So why not use our lasso tool and keep two layers? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the lasso tool. And I'm just going to select around this doorway. It's not going to be a perfect job because I'm just showing it to you. And as you know, I'm not really, I don't really like graphic creation and all that. But you know what, we can always use the magic wand tool after, can't we? And there we go, so it's all selected. And I'm just going to simply push delete. And you can see the landscape in the doorway. Now obviously, you know, you can resize this so it looks better. So I'm going to select my landscape here. And I'm going to get the selection tool. I can always move this in. And I can move it around so we've got a much better landscape. Make it slightly, let's put it up slightly here. Make the mountains a bit higher. And there we go. Okay, um, obviously, like I said, it's not perfect, so I'm just going to. Um, zoom in a little bit here and what I'm going to do is get rid of these horrid white bits using the um, magic wand tool oops, one one selected sorry, just press escape on that let's see what's happened when you make the wrong selection, there we go right, make sure your background here is selected um, and no, I'm not going to push delete on that. So remember what I said about the tolerance level, Miss Price. Listen to your own lessons. See what sort of kid I was in school. There we go. Look, here we are. So now the tolerance level's lower. It's looking a bit better. Okay, right, so 
that's looking a little better already but i still need to obviously move the image around you know of the landscape so you can actually see it through oops so need to move this around a bit obviously um there you go but obviously you guys can do a better job than me you can spend a little bit more time and practice a bit more 